shorts and cut off. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he he's just slips up with that. Man. He's getting our mind right. I think a bunch of guys are saying, "Oh, it's cold," so I think he's showing it's not cold. Uh, I don't know. He's one of the softest coaches we have around here. But he was, he was <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He's awesome. Ooh, he's <laughs> West, or was at West or Marshall in West Virginia, so I guess it's not too cold up there. This time. Uh, he's just a tough guy. So or it's colder up there. Exactly. But I think it's more just he's a tough guy and he wants to show everybody it's not that bad. So, I mean, I was part of. I'm wearing leggings. You know, I had the, <laughs> I had the thermal and all that stuff. But yeah, he's a tough dude. It was just funny. But seriously, what, what's the biggest I guess, impact he's made with strength and conditioning programs since he's been here to run that? I mean, I I can't begin to explain how awesome it's been having him here. Um, just seeing personally my body, just the gains that I've been having in the different guys. And um, even my buddy, uh, my roommate Alex Essex, he said that during the season, you know, his squat max is going up not just 10, 15, it's going up 30, 40 pounds. And to have that happen in season is just incredible. So. Guys that you know have the high ceiling and have room to grow, he's able to get them there, and he's able to push guys. You know, he, he weeds he weeds out the guys because if you don't work hard, you're not going to fit in with his culture that he's building. You've been Excuse here me. for three seasons. And three seasons, three new weight coaches. Well, I'm changing the subject. You watch that building go up out there. You talk about the weather. Uh, I mean, did you? Did Pruitt talk about it? Do you remember it? Uh, did he talk to us about it? I mean, what's it going to mean to you? Yeah, I mean, it, it's always been talked about. It's always been something where. You know, recruiting, it was, oh, we don't need one. Then I get here, everyone's like, oh, we need one. <laughs> um, so it's always been talked about, but to see that all come to fruition, I mean, it's awesome. I, I think we definitely need one, especially, you know, we're in the SEC, especially for recruiting, and then just getting through practices. Um, last year, I saw how it affected us, um, especially the year before, but last year in, in specific, it rained a ton. Um, it was, it would rain here like crazy, and then we'd go someplace where it's nice and warm and sunny, and you know, no clouds in the sky. So it just helps you better prepare for the environment you're going to get, and just the kind of atmosphere that you're going to be working with. Have you gone in there, or do you walk on the turf? No, I haven't been in there yet, but it looks awesome. I've seen all the pictures and stuff. It looks really cool. You're a senior. I mean, you, you guys got Junior. one more senior. Yeah, yeah one more year coming, coming up. Yeah. Right? yeah. So, I mean, you're, you're a guy that's coming back. You'll be a senior next year. You got four more of those coming back. I mean, now I guess how did you find out about? They said that they didn't tell anybody. So did you kind of find yeah, the out same way? I was uh, I was walking through the little grab and go line for dinner. I forget what we had. And <laughs> Bryce Ramsey, just how he talks, like you're the big news. I was like, no. He's like, they're coming back. I was like, what? This is awesome. And so yeah, I did found you know out. who they were, or did he tell you exactly? Who yeah, they I mean, were? you know, I, I could guess. Okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, it was awesome news, and I, I'm pumped to have them back, and I'm just excited to see, you know, the the hard work that we're going to put in and you know, have one more good year. But none of that matters if we can't focus and, you know, beat TCU. The, the way the season ended, you know, left obviously some disappointment. But oh, yeah. it seems among the fan base the last few weeks between yesterday's news and recruiting has kind of pumped everyone back up. Are you guys do, – do you feel that too? I mean, does do you see – I mean, obviously yesterday's news affects guys that your teammates with, but recruiting too, does that all kind of – get to you guys too and, and kind of reinvigorate you all? Um, it definitely helps knowing that, you know, Dog Nation, the fans have our back and to see them get excited definitely does help. But we try to remain consistent because, I mean, we've been through the highs and lows of everything. And if we're not consistent for each other, you know, we can't be affected by the outside noise. So it, it certainly does help, but I won't say that it's, it's something where we, you know, lean upon it.